Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Portrait Neuro Filter to change the facial age of your portraits and also add other creative adjustments to your portrait, such as adjusting the smile or expression, adding hair thickness and head direction. Let me show you how to do it in Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. To add neural filters, first click on a layer in the layer panel that you want to add the filters to. Once selected, come up here to the filter menu and select neural filters. Click on that and you'll see this neural filters panel open up. There are a couple default filters that come with this, but what we're looking for is in the beta filters. So go ahead and click on this test tube and you'll see all these beta filters. For this tutorial, we're going to be working with Smart Portrait. If you have not already downloaded Smart Portrait, just click on the little cloud icon to download it. Once downloaded, click on this little toggle switch to enable it. Neural Filters uses Adobe Sensei, which is artificial intelligence, and it will automatically detect the facial areas. So you'll see this blue bounding box around the area where all the sliders are going to be affecting. If you don't want to see the blue bounding box, you can hide it by hitting Command H. That will hide the blue box. And if you forget that, you can come up here to the View menu. It's under Extras, so that's Command H. If you want to see it back, just click on that or use Command H to hide it. All you need to do is just check on a box and drag the sliders, have some fun, and be creative. If I want to add a little more smile, I'm going to check on the Happiness box and just drag the slider to the right. How about we add a little hair thickness? I'll check on the hair thickness button. I'm going to drag it all the way to the right and watch my hair. If I want to thin it out, I'll drag it all the way to the left. And I just gave myself a haircut. To preview changes, just click on this little button down here in the bottom. You'll get a before and after. And if you ever want to reset all of the parameters back to the way they were when we started, just click on the reset parameters in the top right and that will reset everything back to the original. And to change the age, which is both scary and fun, under subject, check the box facial age. Drag the slider to the right for older, drag it to the left for younger. So I'm just gonna drag it to the right and that's the scary part. I'm gonna uncheck the happiness to see if I get a more natural result. And I'm also gonna add a little hair thickness. And to view the younger me, I'm gonna take the slider and drag it all the way to the left. And for before and after, just click on this button, preview changes. So before, after. When you're ready to save your results, go to the output menu and click on the drop down to select an option. I recommend Smart Filter so you can go back and make changes at any time. Click OK once you have the selection and that will take you back into Photoshop where you will see your layer with a Smart Filter. Just uncheck Smart Filters to go back to the original at any time. And if you want to make changes to the Neural Filters, just double click on Neural Filters. It'll take you back into the panel. You can make any adjustments. Maybe you want to add a little more hair. With Smart Filter in the Output menu, I'm just going to click on OK, and that will update in the Layers panel. My name is Mike Murphy. That is how you use Neural Filters in Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. Cheers.